So I'm downtown in Los Angeles' theater district on Broadway. We're walking to Clifton's Cafeteria. A cool thing about this place was that you could pay what you could afford to eat there. That's not the case now. And the cafeteria is actually closed. We're gonna go there and we're gonna see just what makes this place so special. Let's step back in time to Clifton's Cafeteria in this episode of Building Los Angeles. Stepping up to Clifton's, one immediately notices the Art Deco terrazzo floors, highlighting iconic Los Angeles places like Griffith Observatory and Hollywood Bowl. With so many DTLA terrazzo floors damaged, Clifton's is in remarkable condition. Once you step into the front door, you're instantly transported to a dimly lit fantasy, where the busy world you just left has been replaced with all the beautiful splendor of a magical adventure into a hidden forest. As your brain tries to process the beauty your eyes are quickly downloading, prepare to enter the Grand Atrium, where a four-story redwood built by original Disneyland tradesmen asserts its dominance over you like Treebeard of Fangorn Forest from Lord of the Rings. On the third floor, a time machine takes you back to the late 1800s in this Victorian-themed peacock room, where the woodwork and decor make you believe you're back on Bunker Hill in its heyday. Before being Clifton's, the building was a furniture store, and this second half of the third level was a showroom for retail customers looking to spruce up their home decor. Also on the third floor is the Gothic Bar, where one can substitute established religions, get a sinful cocktail, and gaze at a 4.7 billion year old 250 pound meteorite, and pay tribute to where Forrest J. Ackerman first coined the word sci-fi. He and Ray Bradbury were frequent guests of this booth. Level 4 comfortably places you in what feels like an Art Deco ski lodge. The giant redwood reminds you how high up you are, but keeps you safe with its vintage lodge vibe. A secret passageway takes you up to the fifth and final floor, my favorite place in Los Angeles, Pacific Seas Tiki Bar. This perfectly designed bar gives you the feeling of an exotic vacation date night without ever having to step foot on a plane. With no expense spared, there's even a full-size vintage Chris Craft mahogany speedboat to solidify the realism. So that was it. Beautiful tour of Clifton's Cafeteria. You know, I've worked up quite a thirst, so I'm gonna head over to the Golden Gopher for a drink. Thanks for joining me on this very special episode of Building Los Angeles. Take care.